Hey everybody, Russell W. Oker, Go Hills TV, powered by JBS, bringing more to the table here at Pat Doherty Field. Time for our Fairway Meat and Grocery post game. Fairway in a tumble in Centerville, the best at fresh. Warriors win it 13 to three over DMAC today, our 25th win of the season. Uh, coach, let's uh, well, let's start with a guy by the name of Raul Torres. He's our Scooters Coffee Player of the Game. Grand Slam on his mom's birthday. That's a pretty nice. Oh, thing I didn't to do. know his yeah, mom's birthday. That's what birthday. they told well, us. Good yeah. for him. Good yeah. for him. No, he's been really. He's been obviously really good for us. So uh, he's starting to play. Play really well, a little more mature with his game, and uh, it's kind of fun to watch right now. Yeah, uh, no doubt about it. He's played some good defense for you and, and has been tremendous at the plate, hitting over 400. And, of course, Grand Slam, uh, one of the most exciting plays in all of sports. So that was fun to watch, and it really put the game away for the most part. D-Mac was hanging around on you there, quality ball club, and uh, they struggled to throw some strikes, and that hurt him. But you got to take care of business, and Torres did that. Let's Let's go to uh, Shaw. Your starter gave you four really good innings and then just kind of lost a turn to fifth. But overall, uh, he had a pretty good outing for you. Yeah, it was, it was really good. I mean, I, I gave up a run, but it was – I mean, it was earned, but it wasn't earned. You know what I mean? We didn't play really good defense there. And and then he gives up a hit and kind of, uh, you know, like some pitchers do sometimes, they start thinking about things. And uh, I don't know – I don't want to say pressure gets to him, but they just – you know, they start processing the wrong things, and then the strike zone disappeared on him, so we had to go to somebody else. Well, pitching looks real easy until you got to go out there and do it, right? Sometimes you think, just throw a strike, but that's easier said than done uh, sometimes. Yeah, so a solid outing there for uh, for Jordan. Aiden Enos came in uh, and really came up clutch for you today on the mound, I thought. Yeah, that was, that was a really big stop for us there. Uh, you know, <clears throat> I thought when he hit that guy, you know, some guys – sometimes when guys – Hit a guy in the head, they kind of lose their mind, but he got right back in the zone and kept doing what he was doing. So I was really impressed with him today. Overall, uh, as a whole, your thought on your team's performance today, 13 runs, pretty good outing for you. Uh, yeah, it was a little lackadaisical early, but, uh, you know, we came out, tried to get like a quick little practice in. We didn't do much yesterday, and uh, we didn't come with a whole whole bunch of energy early, but, uh, you know, it's just kind of been our team, you know what I mean? If, if, you, if we get a little going and then uh, we can kind of keep rolling from there. 3 o'clock start today. I never did ask you if that had anything to do with the eclipse at 1 o'clock today. Would, did the eclipse have anything to do with your scheduling or just <laughs> lucked out that you were able to dodge the eclipse? We uh, we lucked out. Uh, um, <laughs> Coach Mishler from DMAC, he wanted to keep his kids in class, so he went with the 3 o'clock. And then here in the last you know, 24, 48 hours, people are like, hey, what about the eclipse? And I'm like, I don't, I, I really haven't thought about it. So, <laughs> and, uh, and, and the league or nobody, you know, didn't say anything about it. So we just, we just kind of kept it right there. It worked out. I want to talk a little bit about Zach Pace, too. It's a name I haven't brought up that much, but probably should be. This kid just kind of consistently goes out and does some good things for you. He's swinging a good bat as well. Yeah, he's a really physical uh, really physical kid. He can run. You know, he's got some arm strength. Uh, you know, when, when he uh, wants to put it together, he's going to be a really good baseball player. So I'm excited. You know, we're just scratching the surface with that kid. So I'm, I'm really excited to see what he's going to bring in the next, you know, 12 months. Your team lost three in a row there, but now bounced back with a couple of wins. Talk about the importance of that, not kind of letting the season get away from you and, and not getting into any big skids. Yeah, I thought that uh, the couple of runs we put up early um, on Saturday after we lost was really big for us. And, you know, just to give us some confidence as far as like, hey, you know, we're not going to let this get away and we're, we, we can we can handle our business. And, um, and, and it was a clean game. You know what I mean? We didn't, um, you know, it was a tight game, but we played clean besides – one inning where we kind of like lost the strike zone. It was a really well played game on our side, I thought. So you know that was that was really big. And even today was pretty well clean. You know, clean instead. You know, a play here and then, you know, show a loss for an inning. But that that's junior college baseball, really. So uh, other than that, it was it was a. I thought it was a pretty clean game on our part again. All right, Coach, congratulations. Warriors get the win, 13-3 to in seven innings. Zero Benavidez hits a sharp one down the right field line to put an end to it, and the Warriors shorten a nine-inning game to a seven-inning game by the 10-run. Rule Aiden Enos gets the win, goes to one-and-one one on the year. Raul Torres is our Scooters Coffee Player of the Game with a grand slam uh, in the fifth inning of this ball game. So congrats to the Warriors. Back here at home on Wednesday against Ellsworth, and then a weekend series at home uh, coming up this weekend with Northeast. We hope you'll join us. It's an Atumble Job Corps Warrior win. That's going to do it for our Fairway Meet and Grocery Post game with Coach Torres. I'm Russ W. Oker. Go Hills TV, powered by JBS.